Hello, this is Philip Jers and this is a hotel room harmonica lesson and I'm gonna give you some tips in this video on uh, holding the chromatic harmonica. I like holding the chromatic harmonica like this. Um, I put my thumb under and then I take my index finger and sometimes the middle finger as well and then I hold them on here and uh, I do one important thing I have realized is that I put the harmonica on the on this area of the hand that I let it come out on the hand like this I don't put it inside the hand I put it here so let it rest here and then I grab it almost like holding a pencil and that is because you can get more uh, you can bite on the harmonica more get it deeper in your mouth to get a bigger tone and um, you can also use your wrist to, to, to angle the harmonica when you're jumping on bigger intervals, like... You can do this movement. And that works great for me. Uh, um, some people hold the harmonica like this. Uh, I mean, that also works. But uh, then you have to move sideways when jumping. And I feel that is... Yeah, I'm not so good at that, so I hold. This is my recommendation. Uh, of holding the chromatic harmonica. And holding the harmonica like this is also great when you're working with a microphone because then you can put the mic in the hand and then you can pretty easily move the harmonica like this if you want to point the mic to a specific register to get a more fat tone or if you want to lower the volume of a specific re register. But if you hold like this and put the mic it's pretty hard to <laughs> Your mic will always be in the bottom, but doing like this, you can get a, you can really get close to the mic in all registers. So that's also nice with this holding position of the chromatic harmonica. Another thing I want to give some tips about is using the slider. Uh, I like to press the slider with uh, this area of my index finger down on the index finger here, this this uh, muscle area. Um, some people press like this, some use a thumb, I mean everything works, but I like this because it, I feel I have most control when doing like this. And either the movement comes from the finger, just like this, or the movement all, almost comes from the elbow, you know, like, like I'm moving the whole hand. And another important thing that I do, I have realized, is that I let my finger always rest on the slider, even if I'm not playing. So if I'm playing like D to E flat, to D to C to B flat, A, uh, something. If I play like... I ha you see, I have my hand all the time on the slider. I never remove it, like, ah, like that, because then you're slower, and you also, sometimes it becomes too much force that you, like, press it in, like, and then, yeah, things can happen. So it's good, I, I like resting my finger on the slider all the time, even if I'm not using it. So if I'm just playing C major, I have my finger on the slider. And I'm using either just the finger or more like this if I'm doing lots of... <laughs> Maybe more trills I use the, the this motion more. But yeah, uh, try that. It's, it's my favorite way of using the slider. And I also put my thumb here, I realize. I don't know why. That's kind of creating a nice resistance, you know. But when I go to the high register, I have to lift the thumb off. But now, it's on. But... 
playing the Tai Chi, I take it off like that. And if you like this lesson, very welcome to check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash philipjersharmonica, where I share lots of lessons. There is over 10 hours of harmonica lessons and PDFs and fun educational stuff for harmonica players, both on the chromatic and diatonic harmonica. All right, that was all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Some quick tips on playing the chromatic harmonica. I hope you enjoyed these tips and just write me questions here in the chat box if you have more. And uh, keep practicing, have fun and bye bye.